Hello, and welcome back to downloadable content. Now, you may have noticed I'm in Blade and Sorcery Nomad. It took me, I don't even know how long to update this damn game. I, I was losing my mind, and now my controller has also really weird stick drift, so the camera's gonna do whatever it wants. That's totally fine, but I digress. Well, anyway, here's that thing. It, it must be a day, because it is mod showcase, whatever the day is today, because I had no idea it was going to be recorded because no one was being a piece of crap and it finally updated! So I'm going to bring you some U12 mods for Blade Sorcery Nomad. Why are my eyes going in that direction? Our first mod is the Flying Mod by Nick Terry. This mod is pretty simple, but you use the little jump button and you press and hold it to fly and you can fly as high as you want. I'm just holding the stick and you'll just keep flying. It's pretty easy to use, and when you just want to just let go, you just don't hold a stick. Pretty straightforward. Look, ready? I'm flying, not flying, flying, and not flying. It's almost like mind completely blown from this one. Flying, and now, 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 pay attention. Ready? Not flying. Moving on, we have the Dark Souls Armor Pack by Hanky. I gotta run inside, I gotta show you the book, get out of my way, thing, and door. So we gotta go to the book here and scroll down and find yourself the Dark Souls pack right, right, right there. There's a ton of things in here, so let's go ahead and fashion souls this up, starting with the Alva Knight. Look at me now, I am an Alva Knight. These look really cool. Oh my god, look how cool this looks. Yeah. Yeah, this armor pack is sweet. Let's see what else we can be. Ooh, let's be the soul of cinders, man. Look at me now. I am a demon. <laughs> ah, this looks so cool. Look at it now. Oh my god. Why does that look so freaking sweet? Especially when I cast fireballs. Demon! Demon! And now we will emerge it for the ultimate demon meteor. Look at this power. And fireball. Oh, oops. Probably should have cast that better. And I'm pretty sure that you can fight um, NPCs that are wearing this. Let's double check. Go into like, I don't know, the, the market or something. Yeah, let's go to the market. And now we scroll down to the waves and let's see who we want to fight with my broken... Come on. Uh, I want to fight the Soul of Cinders. Soul of Cinders, come on out. It's time to fight me. Don't be a wimp. Da, da, da. <laughs> Jesus! Jump scare and a half. Why is he such a massive boy? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, yeah, so look, you can fight them. Look how sick this is. I'm having a great time. You guys need to download this. Ugh, where'd you go? It, it, well, how many souls are you worth? Come on, download this and then... Uh, okay, well, honestly, I was trying to end it there and be all cool, but... Up next, we have the Morelands by Wooly. The Morelands is a pretty sweet level, so let's go ahead and go to the little, you know, level selector here. Select Morelands, go into Sandbox, and travel. And here we are, look at this beautiful map. I wouldn't expect anything else from someone like Wooly. It looks freaking amazing. This is also available on the PC, but the Nomad version looks pretty sweet as well. And of course they've added my boys, the breakables to it. We even have a weapon book right here so we can go into tools, get myself a pickaxe and well, we gotta start getting to work. <clears throat> Oh, right. There's also a wave book here <laughs> if you guys want to fight NPCs. And oh my god, look! They had the tomb they buried Jesus in! You can go right in here. Oh, that's how he got out. You guys forgot to put a ceiling. No wonder. Ugh. No wonder! But this is a really cool map. It feels extremely lore friendly. To be honest, I haven't played this map yet on the PC version, so I do wonder um, if the backgrounds will look better on PC. I mean, I assume so. But let's test out the wave spawning and see where the enemies pop up. Let's do like a relentless melee. Whoa, it just respawned all those things. That was really weird. All right, so one spawns over there. That's cool. Another one there. Where's the final spawn? I don't want to miss it. Show me. Oh, another one there. Cool. But we can have an epic battle in the Moorlands where you can possibly get more. Ah! Epic fight music. I'm editing and editing. It's definitely part of the game. Ah! Download the Moorlands and you too can have some epic bladed sorcery. Fun. Back at my home, I need to show you the next mod, but pff, not here. Let's go to the arena. Up next is the Cosmic Katana by Crusader VR. 
You got to go into the book, not this book. This book, and go to Swords and scroll down and select Cosmic Katana. And whoa, look how cool it looks. If you go, if you put your eyes right up to there, I don't know if you guys can see this right now. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't display the VR view, but look, I can see the cosmos. I can't see my hand. I could see the cosmos. I see everything. Sorry, I got carried away. But this is a very sweet blade, and I need to use it on some Alfies. Alfies, can you show yourself? I really want to use this blade. I was kind of thinking it might burn, but it doesn't burn. So I'm hoping that it's just a very sharp blade, and no better way to find out than to use it on you. No. Whoa! Did you see that? When I blocked that? Was that normal? Was that supposed to happen? I gotta see that again. Yes! It is, so when I hit into things, you see that, like, impact? Oh, that looked cool! You are a genius for adding that one. That looks beyond amazing. It's not as sharp as I thought it would be. I mean, it's one-shotting them. The real cool part is in the effects of blocking and whatnot. I'm very much enjoying that. Crusader VR, you have done a great job with this katana. <laughs> I'm having an amazing time giving it to the Alphys. I'm gonna be honest, I buried the lead here and I did it on purpose. But don't worry, let me show you. Moving on, we have Lightsaber Legends by Volgies and OK Game Dev. You have to go into the book and there's gonna be new, a new specialized category. This is like the Outer Rim Junior for Nomad. How did I grab both of these things at once with one hand? How am I doing this? Is the force too strong? Ugh! Anyway, so you take a lightsaber, you press the spell button, boop, and you turn it on, and look, it looks really good. Honestly, they've come a long way with these. Yeah. Stand through this, good, see? Let's look at the ancient one. Whoa. There's even the dark saber. Oh, that's funny how that spawns. <laughs> Yeah, it's cool that they have you know, their own sound effects with them, so that really sounds like the Dark Saber. You even have Ezra's one, so we can fire a boat and turn the lights on as well. Well, still firing a boat! <laughs> oh, the force is strong. Anyway, let me show you something else. It's also the blasters. Now, this here is my boy, the E-11 Blaster. You guys know this one. Become a new favorite Stormtrooper man or something, and... Right, this is the classic... And then, of course, the DC-17 that looks like the Lego version of it, but DC-17... Come on, get washed. You get washed? I can't tell that. You got washed. And, of course, the DL-44 with its classic... Wait, this, is this the same sound? I was about to say it has this classic one, but this, is, this sounds like the E11. I don't, I don't think it's a classic DL44 sound. But yeah, look, boom! You can have a lightsaber, you can have a blaster. So now, when the Alphys come for you, you will have everything at your disposal. Now, who's next? You, you wish to become lightsaber legends? So this is obviously a must-have. If you don't have this one already, you are missing now. Now this next mod I literally have to show you otherwise I'll be crucified. And that is lightsaber waves by Greenfire. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and need a lightsaber for this. That looks good. And now I will use my stick drift to scroll down and I will show you, the, here we go, Star Wars, Jedi 1v1, Sith 1v1. So let's let's fight a, a Sith first. Well, I just noticed that there's sometimes sound effects still play even though I haven't drawn the blade yet. Listen. <laughs> it's funny. But look! A disgusting Sith. It's time to fight you. <laughs> yeah, we're doing this in Nomad. This is Nomad. Nobody currently has a mod that the, the, the main version doesn't have. The only downside though is that these kind of have like a weird physics on them. So I, if I swing too fast, I will definitely swing through. Look at that. <laughs> it swings through it. So you have to be kind of careful and be on guard like, are you gonna swing through me? Right, you can still murderize all the Siths you want. And I guess some Jedi as well, so spawn some Jedi and uh, you know, murder them too. All right, Jedi, you have a purple boy lightsaber? That is pretty cool. Huh. I'm so happy I can fight you and Nomad, yeah, Sam. And now, 
I will use the power of the dark side. Come over here on your knees. Yes. Oh, yes. Do it. Anyway, whoa, you need to have this one. If you're going to have the lightsaber mod and you don't have lightsaber waves, then you are also missing out. Our penultimate entry today is Survival Dismemberment by Greenfire. Now, this is probably going to be a tough mod for me to show you because they're going to die really quickly, but I will try my absolute best. Okay, come here, come here. Uh, let me just use this. Ow. And just, whoop, put you up there. Right, right there. Okay, I need you to survive this. Hey, did you survive that? Sir? Are you survived? No? Yeah, this is what I was afraid of because it's Nomad. <laughs> I will try again. Try and try again on your hand. Your hand. Stop dying instantly. I promise you it works. I, I should have downloaded something that increases your health as well. Oh, man. Oh, this is a total fail on this one. Oh, my God. We should probably just move on. Our final mod today is Realistic Decapitations by Smoking Bob. Let's use the War Sword. So normally in Blade and Sorcery Nomad and normal Blade and Sorcery, when you decap them, the head kind of like cartoonishly flies off and it blows up into the stratosphere. But this one is supposed to give it a more realistic feel to combat when you do get that decap. Oh no, oh, is this blunt? Yeah. Come on, let's try this on you. Dodge, and then hi yeah. Okay, it still exploded off his head. I need to maybe not use this one. You. Huh. No, it's off your head. Let's try a riding sword. Come here. No. Bonk. Get down. Okay, now, 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 now. Oh no, how can I miss? You, I, I, I am sorry. I have to show them, but I can't have two mod fails in a row. I will lose, I will lose my job. Let me show them the easy decaps. Okay, that one was a little bit more realistic, right? You see how he just, it didn't like explode off of him. I must, come here, give me this. Good, no, don't move, don't move, you're moving. Stop moving. Yeah. Oh, you, you wiggled. I'm, I'm gonna get a really good example of one. And you guys be like, wow, Drifter. Thanks for showing us that. Okay, well, that's probably the best I can do right now. It's still no bad, so I, I don't know. It, it's, it's, it's better on PC, damn it. Well, my friends, I'm gonna leave the camera right there because it's being extra cursed, but this has been your mod showcase for Blade and Sorcery Nomad U12. Stop yelling at me, okay? I gave you the thing. Now, watch the thing. <laughs> Subscribe if you're new, hit the little thing. I'm gonna try to figure out these damn curse controls, but other than that, Thank you so much for stopping by. I am Rob from Downloadable Content, and I will see you next time. <clears throat> I burnt.